Hey guys, so in this video we will be checking out the Android 5.0 Lollipop messaging application that will supposedly come pre-installed on Nexus 6 devices. So let's get right into it. Now even though Google Hangouts is still a great application to use to text your friends with, it still wouldn't hurt to try out a new messaging application even developed by Google. Now this application was included in a leaked version of the firmware from the upcoming Nexus 6 device, so we know this is legit. And the cool thing about this is that you can actually install it onto your phone as an APK, even if you don't have root. Please do note that this application is actually only compatible with some Android versions or phone models as well, but I do know for a fact it will work on Android 4.4 KitKat, and you do not need Android Lollipop to have this on your phone. But it wouldn't hurt to try it out even if you do have a lower version of Android. So beginning with the home screen, you will obviously see your conversation list and you will notice how much cleaner the interface is and how much faster it appears to be. When you tap on a contact icon, the contact information will actually appear and pop up in front of your face along with the phone number to be able to call them automatically. You can also swipe left or right on any message group to archive it and you have a yellow floating action button that allows you to compose new messages to your friends. Now it doesn't really have that circle animation and I'm pretty sure the Nexus 6 will have that but for now it just pops up like a regular window so it's not too bad but you don't have that animation. But the cool thing is you have a search feature at the top which isn't included in Google Hangouts and I have really missed this feature because sometimes I want to find specific text that I sent in the past but I can't really do that on Google Hangouts but with this application you can do that. So now to the cool part. When you're in a conversation, you will actually notice that the color theme changes randomly for each conversation on your phone. It could be blue, it could be yellow, red, it doesn't really matter, but it's actually very nice that it's not a boring two color theme. When you tap on the attach button, the camera will slide up from the bottom of the screen, allowing you to take a quick picture or record a video right from the messaging application. So it won't switch it to the camera application, which is actually very nice. You can also select recent photos taken without using the gallery application as well. And you can now send a voice memo to your friends just by tapping and holding the microphone. You also have small animations and overlapping menus that makes the interface feel like Android Lollipop. And even though it may not include every animation, it still looks and feels smooth. So if you would like to install it onto your phone as an APK, I'll provide a download link in the description for you to download. So thank you guys for watching this quick little video. Please share this video to your friends so they can also see this as well. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!